analysis of the stool, but Okay guys, what's up? Today we're going to be talking about something which has been going around the internet for a few weeks now. Even I didn't think it was a real product, but turns out the Trek Merlin 8 is coming. It is a 2022 model year. It's all over Instagram, the internet now. A lot of people have asked me about it. They asked me about it before I knew anything about it. So I have a few specs based off all the internet kind of rumors and stuff. Obviously this probably won't get into many people's hands until maybe late season, August onwards, October maybe. Um, it's definitely not gonna be shipping anytime soon, but there'll be the odd one which shows up here and there. Trek's gonna start pumping them out. Um, big thing that they've done with this model is it's actually kind of a replacement for the Excalibur series. So this is going to be very similar part spec to the Trek Excalibur 7. What the big difference between the two frames is, the Excalibur was a higher end aluminum, so it was a little lighter, made it a little bit better. There used to be little tweaks in geometry, and now I'm not sure that there is. They haven't updated the Excalibur frame in a long time. I don't know if the Merlin is that much different or even noticeable. So the big thing is potentially a slightly lower quality of aluminum going to silver, but we're still talking about a 30 pound bike here. Um, looks like it should come with like a RockStrux Duty fork. Judging that the Merlin 7 has that same fork in spring, this one will most likely be the air version. So the drivetrain on the Merlin 7 is the 10 speed Dior. So there is a good chance this is either going to be the SRAM SX 12 speed or maybe even the Dior 12 speed. What I've seen, it looks like the SRAM stuff, but it's interesting that they choose that over the Dior 12 speed. Everything else on all the other Merlins are the Shimano setup, so it would make sense, but it looks like it is coming with the SRAM SX, which is gonna be a really fantastic wide range to it. Tubeless ready wheels and tires, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, for that kind of price of a bike, you know, you're probably looking in the mid thousand dollar range for Canadian dollars, over a thousand for US. That's pretty cool. And then some other kind of rumor specs here. They're saying it should potentially come with a Maxxis tire. So instead of going with a Bontrager, I don't have a full size to it. I couldn't find that anywhere. Whether it's gonna come with like 2.6, so it'll be really budging on an off-road bike or still just like a 2.4 Maxxis. Couldn't find that anywhere, but it's gonna be pretty cool um, to see. So the Trek Merlin series already was leaning towards from commuter, everyday kind of street bike, leaning into the trails. Now with this Merlin 8, you're actually gonna get a trail bike, which has all the specs. It is gonna be an Excalibur, which would have been a trail bike. Um, with the Maxxis tires, you know that they're probably going for a more aggressive tire setup. So again, it is for the person who doesn't want to spend $2,500 on a bike or $3,000 for a full suspension. They're going to just want something really high quality and really good for trails. Getting an air fork on there with the RockStrap Shooty is going to have high performance. Getting the 1x12 is going to check that box that someone new looking into it, someone kind of experienced, knows that's kind of the way to go. You want that wide range on the back. You want that simplicity on the front, it's gonna work fantastic. Looks like it's coming in potentially three wheel sizes along with all the new 2022 Merlins where you should get a 26 inch wheel on an extra, extra small frame, which is the first year Trek's gonna do that. That's kind of cool and kind of bleeds into that 820 where it was kind of this commuter, but now it'll just fit a nice junior size, I think. We saw a lot of crossover size gap I think in the 26 inch wheel where a kid would be outgrown a 24 inch and the 27 would just be a little too big and a lot of wheel to handle. So putting that exact bike, whether it's a Marlin 5 or now Marlin 8 on a 26 inch wheel is just gonna drop that stand over huge, and make it so much more of a manageable bike for either a short person or a child in between, you know, nine to 10, 11, 12 kind of range. So Trek Merlin 8, what does this mean for the Excalibur line? They will probably get rid of the Excalibur 7. It's not been our best selling bike either way. I'm not even sure if they'd keep the whole Excalibur line. I don't know any of that yet. We obviously sell a ton of the Roscoe's, a lot of the Merlins. 
and then it kind of skips that kind of section and goes into the full suspension or you're looking at lightweight carbon pro caliber especially with the pro caliber 9.5 out it seems weird to potentially have a $1,500 Merlin, maybe a $2,000 Excalibur, one model, and then just go to the Carbon Pro Caliber, or potentially just can that entire model. It'll be interesting to see where it goes. Um, Trek has gonna, Trek along with everyone has a lot of catching up to do first. There's a lot of back orders and there is a lot of wait time for many bikes, and that's just industry-wide, you know, if Trek was busy, Shimano and SRAM could keep up with their pirate demand, but because the whole industry is busy, it's impossible to keep up with that demand. Plus the slowdowns in shipping and manufacturing slowdown. This virus has really messed up the whole kind of supply chain. And then on top of that, everyone wants to be locally outside, which all you can do is go biking. So the Trek Merlin 8, if this comes out with all the specs, will be an excellent bike. Um, a lot of people may like it. It kind of checks all the boxes. Um, it does make sense that Trek would make a really high-end entry-level bike where a Merlin 7 was already pretty cool and the Merlin 8 is gonna be fantastic. One thing I would like to say is there's no word of dropper posts yet. Um, hopefully they've updated just the Merlin frame in general this year to accept dropper posts. Yeah, on the Merlin 4 and 5, a dropper post is half the price of the bike, but now when you're looking at a $1,500 bike, a dropper post is not that crazy. Like I would definitely recommend it, even on a Merlin 5, like that fantastic. So it would be nice if they just updated the frame so you can have an internally routed cable. We'll see, we are getting some 2022s in, hopefully in a month or so. And that will be nice to see if they've updated the frames. We'll do in a video on the Merlin 5. Um, right away here so yeah hopefully we have one in there are some updates to the marlin 5 too and looks like it's going to go to a two by again which they said last year and then supply and demand again they didn't get it done they just kept the same part spec forward looks like now they are actually going with the two by and that's going to be kind of cool i think still just going to be a basic shifting set but it's going to be a little more simple it's just going to work better and it sounds like they've upgraded the front fork as well small price increase for that but I think it'd be well worth it to have a lockout on there if that's what's actually going to ship with it. Otherwise, this was just a quick little update. The Merlin 8 is coming. Maybe go talk to your dealer, get a pre-order for next season, because I bet that's when you'll get it. Um, otherwise, good luck, guys. Bye.